Hello everyone. Oh my gosh, I hope you can hear the excitement in my voice. I'm trying to contain myself right now because it's really late, but man, I just want to yell with joy. I have been waiting. I have been waiting for this moment for so long. This is my favorite game of all time. I was so excited when I heard about this getting I could have done a I could have done a backflip. I honestly could have done a backflip. Uh, I, I even went out and got a Nintendo GameCube controller for the Switch. One of the wireless ones that you can get for the Switch. That's how excited I was for this game. I pre-ordered it. Just got it immediately as, as soon as I, I, I could get my hands on this thing. So, with that being said, it's time to get into this. I, I cannot wait anymore. Ahem, <clears throat> today, I'm going to tell you the story of Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far-off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogue Horde. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport, the tale of the quest of the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so different. I mean, it's the same, but it's different. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very... I hmm, uh, miss all that. Oh, Missy. Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? This box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as me touches it. Oh. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. <laughs> Go on. Hold it. I suppose I could try opening it. And this only sealed the fate. You don't f***ed up, Beach. Mail call! <laughs> oh god, I love Luigi in this game. They do a great job of characterizing him. Hey bro, check it out. 
a letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Sounds fine. <clears throat> now, let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. They've done an excellent job with the artwork in this, but since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach. Love you, Peach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm so excited. They did an excellent job with the music. Familiar game, but an absolutely new experience that I am thrilled to have. Let's get through this prologue, folks. A rogue's welcome. Ah, let's do this. Let's -a go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Please wake up, sir. The town you'd been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. <laughs> you see? We'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Oh, I'm loving the trumpet. Oh, I'm loving the trumpet. Yes. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on your way here. Did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting for you here? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop here. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Uh, don't say I didn't warn you. Man, this music is gnarly. I'm loving it. Yes, we are in Rogueport. Let's go. Boom. Yeah, I got my hammer. Who are you? What's your name again? I forget their name. Oi! Welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Cause the thing about life is, you never know when you're gonna kick the old bucket. That's very true. Actually, let's go ahead and hit the save block. Hit this block to save all the events you've experienced so far. Sounds great. If you get a game over, or if you start playing again from the title screen, you can continue from the last save point you... the last point you saved. Anytime you find a block like this on your adventure, be sure to hit it to save. Ah, uh, classic save bo blocks. They always save us, right? What do you want, pal? Huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no? I'd remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Owe you money? Or is she your girlfriend? Uh, maybe both? Hey! What do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, come off it. I know you're a nosy book nerd. 
so don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking. So be a good little student and tell us what you know, right? Now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Ew. I love her expressions. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump. We're on it. No, no! Stop right there. You weirdos. I'll scream. Really? Let's go get her. We're gonna go help her out. We're gonna help, poor, help this poor lass. I could go anywhere with smelly losers like you. <laughs> Not likely. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, chump? You think you could screw up my plans? <laughs> Mario, um, what? <laughs> Me? <laughs> Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the old crump -a bomb Let's go. Ooh, yes. That music's nice. It's groovy. I'm like nodding my head to this. Can't flee this fight. Let's get through this tutorial. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak off. <laughs> freak of the week, okay? <laughs> Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Fair enough. Can we not do stylish moves? Let's see if we can. Oh, we can. All right, cool. I can already do it. Sweet. You know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Let's see if I can super guard. I haven't done this in so long. Oh, no, I couldn't do it. That's fine. I'll be able to get the timings down. Take some time. It's, it's kind of weird playing this in 30 frames. Okay. You've got him on the ropes. Come on. Keep wailing on him. Gotta get these mechanics back down. There we go. Nice. Good super guard. Nine star points. Hell yeah. I love it. You did it. You did it. Yes. And you got star points. That's what these things are. Star points. Oh yeah. I'm loving the base. The star points you get will show up there. When you get 100 points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, you got a couple decent shots in. I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! What you gonna do? You gonna pounce on me? I can take you on. I'll take all of you on. Punish him. You ain't punishing nothing. I'm about to punish all y'all. You just watch. Quick, this way. Oh yeah. Phew. What a bunch of bozos. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Oh yeah. It's time to get out of here. <laughs> Stop! Where'd they go? Huh? You, Johnson. <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> Did you see them? Did anyone? Uh. Crud. They vaulted. Wow, mister. You totally saved me. Thanks. I just got to give you a little reward. <laughs> so cute. My name is Goombella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. How sweet. She's just a sweetie. So, um... Who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean, like... That famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. 
Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Oh, this poor guy's getting beat up. <laughs> I like how they paid attention to him this time. Oh, wow, they actually paid attention to him. Me, I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Roeport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. Oh, legendary treasure. I'm interested in some legendary treasure. Mm -hmm. What's the you say about legendary treasure? What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Yeah. Whoa, 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 bucko. What do you got there? I got a map. Oh my gosh. Is, is that a map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach? What? Great hoogly boogly. If it isn't Master Mario. <laughs> the lines in this, I'm, I cannot stop laughing. I love the writing in this game. Bit of a coincidence, bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? Oh ho! So, tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little bird? Hmm, ah, indeed! Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map? And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport? Intri intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Hmm, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this way. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship. Don't you know? I only took my off. I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. Oh! <laughs> you know how headstrong she is, Mario? I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. Uh, that's a little bit dire. <laughs> but I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, just hand the reins to me. In fact, I, I would never need your help, right? I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. So useful for my journey. Just absolute help. Complete help. In fact, I highly recommend it. Particularly if you find your HP, heart points, running low. Just drop on in. Oh, uh, yes. Anyway, a little rest there will fill all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit... Uh, Rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. <laughs> um, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach the Mushroom Kingdom princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King? The one you rescue. Wait a sec, this is wild. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map. Yeah. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Maybe. Mayhaps. Oh, oh, I know Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great! We're all good then. Let's go, Mario! Goombella joined your party. Yeah! Hell yeah, Goombella. High five. Well, uh, you don't have hands. Um, sorry. Um, Goombella's abilities. A primer. When you approach people or objects, you may see an icon appear over Goombella's head. If that happens, you can press X to learn more about that person or object. Oh, I'm so excited. Press X to learn about a person. I'm so I'm so excited to play this. That's Goomther, the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. Uh, reasonable in this kind of town, right? It's a shady place, apparently. 
Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. Press X to learn about a location. Alright, let's do it. This is Rogueport Square. It's the center of town and the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Nice. Sometimes you'll learn some interesting tidbits. Uh, try using her ability whenever you can. That concludes this little primer. Do you think you've mastered Gabella's abilities now? Absolutely, I've mastered them. Oh yeah. Of course, Gabella can be quite helpful in battle too. She can jump to attack with a head bonk or look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. First off, we gotta go find my professor. The thing is, since I just got to town myself, I, uh, um, don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Frankly, Frankly, and he looks like this. Uh, what's my, those are quite the eyes you got there, buddy. Oh, uh, before I forget to mention it, from here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, try pressing the ZL button. Okay. That'll be my cue to share any info I know, which might help us figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. Nice. Oh. Oh, look, it's Zesty. Hi. Freeze! You two! Not another step! Don't come this way. I like how you can see her lipstick a little bit more clearly. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. Alright, I'm not gonna move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Alright, I'm just not gonna move an inch. Not gonna move. We're not moving. Not moving. Not gonna move. All right, I can't stay here all day. I gotta go find Frankly. Oh! Oh! Ah, you idiot! You stepped on it, my poor contact lens. I told you not to move. Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? Nope, nope, not me. Nope, uh-uh. This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Uh, me, me? No. Uh-uh. Fine. If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. Oh, man. Zesty's, Zesty's got, the, got the zest, right? I'm telling you. Well, I guess we need to go order that contact lens. Hello. Oh, wow, they changed up the store. This looks really cool. <laughs> welcome. Yes, welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. I'm loving it. Eh? What's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm. Wait just a moment. I love their mustaches. It's so cute. <laughs> Gee, fella. I'm sorry. We don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away for you, but uh, it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Sounds great. Alright, um... I don't think I need to buy anything right now. What's this about? Contact lenses sold out. Oh, they actually added a little thing like at the end for it hey fella sorry but your contact lens hasn't arrived quite yet uh i feel a little terrible about this but you'll have to wait a little longer how long are we waiting for him huh Wah! all right cool i guess we could go ahead and do the save block again right blank <clears throat> wow that doesn't take too long to save i like that nice 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 okay i like the little water how it reflects. That's actually really cool. I mean, the whole thing actually reflects, but it even does more for the water. That's really cool. Oh yeah, I gotta get that star piece. Y'all already know it. I think there's one on the back end. I can't remember though. It's been a minute. 
Oh, they don't have it where it's like, there used to be like legs right here that held this. This is so cool. Anyway, all right, let's go find, uh, let's go find Frankly. Hey, oops, pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. The guy bumps into you and just runs off like that? Unbelievable, some people are so rude. Yeah, and he stole my money. Hey, you, you're the guy. <laughs> I'm pulling another card trick today and making tons of loot. But somebody started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me here, or I'll bonk you. I'll bonk you. How about that? Bonk. He actually re reacts to it. That's funny. I like that. Hey, you. Hey, my name is Darkly. I like dim places, and I'm done talking for now. Okay. Is that all you want to give me? That's all the info you want to give me? That's fine. I'm just going to get this star piece that I know that's, that's here. Look at that cockroach. Ew, gross. Did he actually- did he take my money? He did take my money. Alright, no. I'm not standing for this. I want my- I want my money back. This is so cool. Oh, they don't do a swap transition. It's like a little black screen. That's pretty interesting. I like that. Who are you? Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone I'm a wanted Goomba. <laughs> Man, these people are rough around here, aren't they? I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I came to Rogueport. And I told you I'm lying low in, uh, in this thieves' den. You gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so sly. Yeah, just go ahead and announce all of what you're doing, buddy. Just tell everyone that finds you exactly what you're doing. Alright, let's go get this, uh... Let's go confront this guy. You owe me some money, bubs. Yeah, I know where you live. It's no secret to me. Oops! Uh, fancy meeting you here? Uh, you're a pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain! Fine, fine, okay! You got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Nice. Yeah, let's get this star piece. Is there anything behind here? No. They really... They really made it messy in here. You, uh... You don't live clean, do you? I guess when you're busy being a thief, then there's no time to clean up after yourself, right? <clears throat> What's in the bad shop? I don't think I need anything. Oh, I love the shanty music! That's so cool! Oh, and it, like, it quiets up in the end. It's so much quieter in the end. It's supposed to be quiet because people are sleeping! They're sleeping! All right, we need to get to Frankly. Oh, open at 11 a.m. It's, it's not 11 a.m. yet? What time is it? Let me get this star piece. All right, let's go to Frankly for real. I got my money back, so that's all that matters. Wait, wasn't there like a... I remember there being like a secret thing around here. Maybe I was wrong, I don't know. Eh, whatever. I just remember there being like some kind of secret. Did they hide it from me again? One, two, three. Uh, uh, whatever. All right, let's go find Frankly. So for this build, I think I'm gonna do just a pretty like even build. For those that are long-term Mario fans, y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh, hi, there you are, Professor Frankly. What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes. You. Now, you, uh... Wait for it. Just... Wait a... Just a moment. Uh... Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. 
Um, it's not Gumbriel. Uh, it's not Eliza Goom. Um, um, aha! I've got it. You're Gumbella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at Ugoom. Go Goombas! <laughs> so cute. Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You though, uh, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And the guy behind you is... Who? <laughs> Mario! Professor, he's Mario. You know, the famous one? Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure, said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find, uh, find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, we should start by addressing just what the legendary treasure is. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But I'll agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. Oh. The crystal stars? That's what I'm asking. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the th thousand year door. That's how the old saying goes. And with a rhyme that solid, it must be true. <laughs> Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Oh, hey, I researched some of the written lore behind the treasure, and it kind of matches that old saying. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the Thousand Year Door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. The stones of yesterday. Is that referring to the same crystal stars you mentioned? Yes. It must be. And we're in luck, it seems the Thousand Year Door is located somewhere beneath this very town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not we, exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh my god. You you actually have it? Could I could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? Yeah, sure here. It's not like it's a thousand year map that could rip to shreds easily. Astounding! This is it. The real thing. The one and only magical map. You, son, are my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful even. With this map, we can locate the crystal stars just by holding it up in front of the thousand year door. Right on, professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Gumbella, Mario. Let's take the magical map to the thousand year door. Off we must go this instant. I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town. 
Man, he's so happy. He just hopped right over that desk. <laughs> Let's do this, man. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> Let's get down there. We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. All right. Oh, uh, wait. Hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. What happened? I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. Would you two like to practice your action mans before we descend? They're the basics of batter after all. Uh, actually, no. I think I'll just want to feel it out. I'm going to figure this out on my own. Really? Uh, a master? A master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice them once, just to be safe? Nah. We're raw dogging this. A bold young lad, aren't you? A quick refresher. When your partner attacks, match what's shown on the screen. When guarding, press A in time with your opponent's attack. If you can remember that, you'll be fine. Right. Now. Down we go. Just stand on the pipe and press A to enter it. Oh, we're not going to press down. Okay. Interesting. Oh, cool. Yeah, that, that'll make it a lot more consistent. Oh, yeah. Another save block. Ah, oh, yeah, let's save that. Let's save the game. So great. So great. All right. Let's go talk to, um... Is it Daisy? Is that their name? Oh, they're not here yet. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I'll at least get this, this uh, star piece. Get the star piece while I'm here. No reason not to. <clears throat> Alright, let's go deal with this Goomba Trio. Hey! Hey, man! What's up? You think it's cool to just watch your way into our underground? I think it's perfectly fine, actually. Uh, who said it's your underground? I didn't say- I didn't see your names on it. Typical. You surface level snobs are so stuck up. Oh, I get to see the sun. I like to breathe clean air. Oh. <laughs> yeah, come on over here, scruffy mustache man. We're gonna teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. Can't two academics and a world famous hero wander the sewers of a port town in peace? If this is your usual greeting to visitors, then you must have learned it down here because it stinks. Ouch. That was cold. What? You're too good for a fight? If you ain't looking to tussle, then stay out of our sewer. Nobody doesn't start a fight with us. Nobody. Let's get them. I'll take all three of you on. You're nothing to me. Let's do this. I'm down one health and I'll still take you. Can't flee this fight. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, you're leaning in, aren't you? A Goomba, a spiky Goomba, and a pair of Goomba. My! The whole Goomba family tree! Oh, yeah. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle. The spiky Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that and you're the one who will take the damage. Paragumba's airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump for him. That's fine. You get what I'm saying? Study your opponent before you choose an attack method. And be ready for those tricky action commands while attacking and blocking. Now go get him. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. I'm like dancing to this music. This music's so good. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like it, Goom Goombella. Don't forget that. I'll just be over here watching the two of you do your thing from a safe distance. But good luck! Oh man, this music is so groovy. Yeah, let's get Goombella in front because I definitely want to tattle. I like filling out the... I don't need to tattle, but it's just so fun. Perfect. That's a Goomba. Um, yeah. I'm one of those, in case you hadn't noticed. It says here, Goombas are underlings of underlings. No standout features to note. That's totally rude. Yeah, Goomba looks standout. She's she's noteworthy. What? Maximum HP is two. Attack power is one, and their defense is zero. Oh, I kind of get the underling thing now. 
Oh, uh, yeah? Let's do this. Oh, man, I gotta time these stylish moves so much differently now. Ooh, too late. Ah, too late for that one, too? Really? Oh, come on. All right, let's saddle. I'll say the super guard timings are really difficult on this one now. Nice, perfect. That's a spiky Goomba. A spiky-headed Goomba. What a creative name. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 2, and defense is 0. I guess that spike helps boost its attack compared to the average Goomba. The addition of the spike means you'll hurt if your feet if you jump on it. Duh. That's not a problem. I got a hammer for that. Hell yeah. Two stylish moves. Let's go. Ah, too late. Still trying to get that, that super guard down. It's going to take a while to get that one down. Let's do it. Yeah. That's a pair of Goomba. Basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 1, and defense is 0. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up with a jump, and it'll totally plummet. If it loses its wings, does it become a regular Goomba for the rest of its life? No one ever talks about this. <laughs> Fascinating uh, little uh, inclusion there, huh? Oh, too late still? Oh, okay. I'm still getting that too late. I need to pay attention to these, uh, <laughs> these attack commands. I'm trying to go off a of feel, but it's a little bit more difficult than that. Ten. I also haven't played the game in like years, but that's fine. Owie! Give me all them coins. Thanks. Ha! Later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where, where they came from, and they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Alright. Oh, you can jump straight over the wall now? Oh, that's so convenient. That's so nice. I'm gonna fight this person. Where are they at? Oh, they're not down here? Oh, okay, cool. Fine. I won't take the extra star points. I don't need them anyway. Wah! Ah, oh, like this. Is there anything behind here? No. Yeah, let's get in there. <clears throat> let's get this first strike. Oh, no, I missed it. Oh, come on. The timings on this is so different. All right, we got this. It's like a little bit before normal, what I'm used to. I'm used to more precise timings. Okay. I can't believe I got that super guard to begin with though. That's crazy to me. All right, I got one stylish. That's all right, you know, I'll work with that. Yeah, I lo I'm loving this music. It's so nice. Do I do I have to pick up the coins like before? Oh man, I thought I was about to get them. Let me deal with the spiky guy first. There we go. All right, so I gotta kind of like pre-plan it, I guess you could say. All right, cool. What? I thought I hit that in time. All right. Ooh, still not hitting it in time, eh? That's fine. I'll get this down. It's not like I have a whole area to learn the timings, huh? <clears throat> oh, cool. Give me a heart. Appreciate that. You got an item. You can use items to attack enemies and replenish your HP. Press, uh, oh, start to open the menu. Then choose items from your gear screen to see your items. Cool. Oh, you didn't notice me. Bonk. 
How do you feel about that one, big boy? Hell yeah. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Nah, no, let's not. Well, you know what? I could probably use jump to learn the timings better. In the worst case, you know. Oh, yes. It's so much better. So much smoother. Hell yeah. Six star points? I'll take it. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle. One coin. One measly coin. Ooh, fire flower. Nice. Um, uh, let me see. Oh, you know what? There's some, there's some spinnias in the next room. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely gonna need to use this. Alright, cool. Oh, you have to have flurry before you can do this? Alright, uh, you know what? Oh, I'm, that's mild spoilers for anyone that hasn't watched. Whoops, sorry. I won't spoil anything else, I promise. It's just new stuff to me. It's really interesting stuff. Whoa, oh, oh, no, no. I thought there- no. Ah, oh, there we go. I was like, there's supposed to be a star piece right here. Look at the puny. Wee-hee! Do they notice me? Oh, no! He st I jumped! Ah, oh, crap. Alright. Camilla, get in front. I thought I jumped in time. I didn't jump in time. That's fine. You get one. Everybody gets one. That's a spinia. A totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, and defense is 0. It atta its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hey <laughs> Um, do I go ahead and use this? No, nah, I'm gonna save it. I know exactly what to save it for. I know exactly what to save it for. Oh no, I didn't get a super guard. You're kidding me. Oh, I thought I got it. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to keep timing this. Alright, let's do this head bong. Okay, a little too early. How am I getting these stylish moves, but I'm not getting the jumps? That's embarrassing. What? I didn't get a super guard? You're kidding me. Alright, let's see if I can get this. What? I hit it at the same time. What? Alright, I guess I gotta keep I gotta keep trying to press it. I'm gonna keep keep working at it. Slowly but surely. Oh yeah, thanks. Give me my heart back. There we go. Oh no, what? Alright, I gotta I gotta focus on learning this timings for these jumps because it's gonna be critical later on in the game. What I oh do you hold it? Is that why is that why I'm missing it? Is cause I'm not holding it down? No, that's not why. That's definitely not why. I don't know why I'm not getting it, man. That's crazy. I used to be so good at jumping. I don't know why. I'm doing terrible in this game. That's fine, though. I will figure this out. I will learn the timings. That's why we play. That's exactly why we play. Nice animation, bro. I love it. Peel him back. Alright, let's go in here. It's a, it's a box. It's a box. Hi. Hey, you. Can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah. Everyone else? Nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this chest. It was a real drag. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So, yeah. Anyway, big guy. What brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a word with you? I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this... chest? I think it may be best to not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, 
Drat. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Oh, yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So, first you should look for the key to this chest. Then use it to let me out. Definitely. Yeah. Not sure how this chest guy would know anything about crystal stars. Uh, what do you think we ought to do? Yeah, black chest, locked. Eerie voice coming out, spikes on the chest. I don't know about this business, I don't know. Uh, well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. This is what the key looks like, by the way. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Alright, let's go get that key. Y'all know where it's already at. Off to the key. Oh yeah, a strange black key. Let's get back up these stairs. Oh, I'm loving the music. They added violins to this? That's wild. Alright, buddy. Promise you're not gonna hurt me, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa! You brought the key? Yes! Oh man, I owe you big! Alright, man, I'm, I'm trusting with my life here. Yes! Thank. Ha! <laughs> Thank nothing! Weehee! Fools! Oh, that guitar is sick. Oh boy! Did you fall for it? I burned you. What? You think I was gonna help you? <laughs> Instead, I'm going to spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Wuggly wuggly woo, you're cursed. Ah, ooh. Wee -hee 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 -hee. Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee -hee -hee. Trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee -hee -hee -hee. <laughs> oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. Oh, yeah. This curse is pretty rough, I guess. So, I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay. You're on the panel. Now try pressing Y. And then, bam! You're a paper airplane. Let's do it. Okay. You'll control your tiny paper plane self by tilting L forward and back. Cool. The plane will rise if you tilt L in the direction behind you. Yeah, just like a plane, you just pull it backwards, huh? However, if you keep tilting L too much, you'll slow down and start to fall back to the ground. Once you start to rise, stop tilting L. Time is key. Try it now and suffer. Total aerodynamic humiliation! Oh yeah, 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 uh-huh. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it, buddy. I'm doing it, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Wee! <laughs> when you've had enough airplane shame, press B and... Press B to deplane and get back to normal. Alright, let's get back to normal. Okay. So, be honest. Do you fully understand the peril this curse has bestowed upon you? Yes, I get it. Farewell, you foolish fool. <laughs> so, uh... <clears throat> wow. Just wow. What was that guy's beef?
Yeah, what was that guy's beef, huh? Alright, let's get on this thing. Whee! Oh yeah, I can do this. I can- I still got it, baby. I still got it. Oh yeah. It's just these jump timings, man. <gasps> the door is beautiful! Oh my god, it's shining! It's got black hearts. Oh, Mario, Gumbella, look at that. I'm looking. It is magnificent. Is that the thousand year door? I can't believe it's real. So the legends are all true. Come, let's move closer. All right, I guess we're going to do this thing, huh? Oh, man, I love this pedestal. Whoa! Oh my god, I love the, the ray effects. They're so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Professor, what's going on? Oh my god, it's so nice. God, this game is beautiful. I have been waiting. I've been waiting for so many years. Oh my god, that's like an ethereal sound. They have knocked it out of the park with the sound design. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Nice. Let's use this bad boy. <laughs> Professor, the map. And what was with all those strange lights? Hmm. <laughs> this looks like information related to the location of a crystal star. And that shining light, it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Hmm. Aha! I see! You understand it, Professor? Of course I do. And I shall explain. The first thing to know is... This map is truly astounding! Somehow this map contains radar-like functions. It's showing us the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes. The area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Roadport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine. So, we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there, or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious, how did you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this to you. Mario? This Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? Yep, that's her. So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal star and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. His face. I love Mario's face in this. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up with her. Collecting crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach.
Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the tri trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best. Now then, allow me to give you both a proper farewell. Cool. Thanks. Ah, Mario, there's something I forgot to mention. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on you. My reckoning, Mario can... By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it... Well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Uh, nah, I know how this this one works. I promise you I know how it works. This is very important. You'd better listen. I mean it. Are you ready to listen? No. I'm ready to move on. Hmm, you're absolutely sure? Well, alright. Just remember, in battle, the bigger your audience, the better. Sure. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. Thanks. Got a power smash badge. Powerfully smash a foe. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? Uh, no thanks. Are you absolutely sure? This is the last time I'll ask. Do you want practice? No, I don't. I see. Then just remember this one part for me. You must equip badges for them to take effect. By the way, you need flower points to use the power smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's helping you find that pipe to Petal Meadows. Oh, we're gonna find it. We're absolutely gonna find it. All right. And we'll be finding it in the next episode. Absolutely. Oh, man. This has really been fun. Doing a little bit longer of an episode for this one specifically, because it's the first episode. It's so epic. It's so nice to be here in Rogueport again. Anyway. Uh, yeah. We're going to do... We're going to do... A, we're going to have a lot of fun on this game. I'm going to be a lot more expressive because I... I love... I, I love this game so much. Anyway. Ultima. Do your outro for me. I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. I love you so much. Bye-bye.